हेलो फ्रेंड आई एम मयूर गोंडलिया एंड यू आर वाचिंग स्कूल ऑफ फिजिक्स फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी अबाउट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फूरियर सीरीज देर आर सिक्स प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फूरियर सीरीज फ्रॉम दैट वी विल टेक टू which is linearity and conjugation let's start properties of fourier series what is the change in coefficients of fourier series with the change in fourier signal that is periodic function fx is known as properties of fourier series here we will learn some of the properties of fourier series today i will describe linearity and conjugation properties first linearity the properties of linearity is described as alpha f1x plus beta f2x corresponds to alpha c1n plus beta c2n if f1x and f2x have same period here f1x and f2x are fourier signals with same period to pi c1n and c2n are their complex fourier coefficients respectively and alpha and beta are any numbers explanation let's we try to understand this property in detail consider a fourier signal f1x equal to summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite c1n into e raised to i n x with period 2 pi therefore its complex fourier coefficient is written as c1n equal to 1 upon 2 pi integral minus pi to pi f1x e raised to minus i n x dx say equation 1 also consider another fourier signal and its coefficient as f2x equal to summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite c2n into e raised to i n x and c2n equal to 1 upon 2 pi integral minus pi to pi f2x e raised to minus i n x into dx say equation 2 because frequency of both the signals are same therefore there is no any change in the part e raised to i n x hence we can say that complex fourier coefficient c1 n is corresponding to fourier signal f1 x and complex fourier coefficient c2 n is corresponding to fourier signal f2 x now if we multiply signal f1 x by alpha and signal f2x by beta and then adding we get a new signal say fx that is alpha f1x plus beta f2x equal to fx where alpha and beta are any number let cn be the corresponding complex fourier coefficient of new function fx then alpha f1x plus beta f2x equal to fx corresponds to cn say equation 3 now the formula for complex fourier coefficient cn is written as cn equal to 1 upon 2 pi integral minus pi to pi fx into e raised to minus i n x dot dx now putting the value of fx from equation 3 we get cn equal to 1 upon 2 pi integral minus pi to pi into bracket alpha f1x plus beta f2x bracket over e raised to minus i n x into dx here we put value of fx as alpha f1x plus beta f2x by expanding the brackets cn equal to alpha into 1 upon 2 pi integral minus pi to pi f1x dot e raised to minus i n x dot dx plus beta into 1 upon 2 pi integral minus pi to pi f2x into e raised to minus i n x into dx 
as shown in equation 1 and 2. Here in this equation, this part is complex Fourier coefficient C 1 n and this part is complex Fourier coefficient C 2 n. Therefore, it can be written as C n equal to alpha C 1 n plus beta C 2 n equation 4. Now, equating equation 3 and 4 alpha f 1 x plus beta f 2 x corresponds to alpha C 1 n plus beta C 2 n. It means that when signal is multiplied by alpha the coefficient is also multiplied by alpha and when we add two signals the coefficients also added. This is known as linearity properties of Fourier series. Now, second conjugation the properties of conjugation is defined as if C n be the complex Fourier coefficients corresponding to Fourier signal f x then C minus n star that is conjugate of C minus n with the complex Fourier coefficient corresponding to f x star that is conjugate of Fourier signal f x we can write it as f x corresponds to C n gives f x star corresponds to C minus n star. Here f x be a Fourier signal with period 2 pi and C n its complex Fourier coefficients and f x star is conjugate to Fourier signal f x and C minus n star is its complex Fourier coefficients. Now, the explanation consider a Fourier signal f x and corresponding complex Fourier coefficients C n that is f x corresponds to C n say equation 1. The formula for complex Fourier coefficient is written as C n equal to this. Taking conjugate of this equation we write C n star equal to here we write conjugate of C n as C n star and that of f x as f x star. Also change the sign of imaginary part that is take e raised to i n x in place of e raised to minus i n x. Now in this equation if we want to separate some part as complex Fourier coefficient then it is necessary that e raise to i n x has negative sign with i that is e raise to minus i n x. So, we take reversal operation that is take n equal to minus n in this equation. Hence, it becomes c minus n star equal to 1 upon 2 pi integral minus phi 2 pi f x star into e raise to minus i n x dot d x. This is the formula for complex Fourier coefficient in which f x star is Fourier signal and c minus n star be the complex Fourier coefficient. That is c minus n star be the complex Fourier coefficients corresponding to Fourier signal f x star. It shows that a Fourier signal f x is changed into its conjugate f x star, its complex Fourier coefficient c n is changed into conjugate of C minus n. This is known as conjugate property of Fourier series. We have seen two properties of Fourier series. In next video, we will learn about two more properties of Fourier series. Write your suggestion in comment section. Please like and share this video and subscribe my YouTube channel School of Physics. Thanks.